Space Engineers. My name is Crash and this is my Make It Up As I Go Along modded playthrough in survival mode. In Space Engineers, in the last episode we landed on this moon, which is orbiting a planet. And I have a slight confession to make to do with the skybox. As much as the other one was really nice to look at, it just made the bloom in Space Engineers very over the top and to be honest with you I started to construct a base here and it just got to the stage where I couldn't see what I was doing because of the bloom so I've changed the skybox and this one is much darker not quite as spectacular but I do like it and it is much better on the blue. Anyway, after the last episode I started to excavate out a new base. Using the dwarf and basically what I've done I've dug out a chamber. I need a light on it here now. Excuse next door's dog. Sydney is his name and Barkin is his game. And he's out there doing it now. He's barking at the birds. But anyway, I've so I've dug out this. None of this is powered as yet. But the ideal is to have the living quarters ideally with a view of that planet. Earth like planet, that would be nice to have a view of. But basically, I'm going to build a landing pad and an underground base here. An under moon base, I should say. There's plenty of ice around. So there's no problem with that. And as so far, we've been left alone by the PV corruption and the Reaver mods. They are both loaded, so hopefully, they will put in an appearance sometime soon. Um, but I think the first thing to do is to get some defences up so that if we do get attacked, hopefully the Gemini will be able to handle it. But we need defences to defend this crater. I have started off in a crater. I don't know whether I will use the entire crater. But... should make for quite a scenic playthrough in this map. Anyway, enough of that, let's get on with the building. So I think the first thing to do is to get some power up and running underneath. Now, I was originally going to build it underneath the landing pad. And I probably still will do that actually because the ship parked out there will help to protect it. As this is going to be really the nerve center of the base. So I think it might be a good idea to bring the dwarf back in here and start mining this area out a bit more. I could do it by hand, some of it. In fact, I have done some of it by hand, but I'm in the shield, the bubble shield now. We have some power to the, to the base at the moment, but not a great deal. So this is quite a deep, nice deep area over here. I wonder if I could excavate this and put a floor down there have this as the power generation area. Might be a good idea. Right, let me go and get the dwarf for a minute. I've also had to add a few more thrusters to the ship 
to the dwarf. We're not in much of a gravity field, but we're in 0.25, and that made enough difference that I had to add some vertical thrust in order to maintain the altitude of the of the dwarf when it was mining. Getting a bit tight in here. Let's part the dwarf up and see what we've done in, in the way of clearing this area for being able to use. I'm out of steel plate. Just get rid of that before that could be quite dangerous. You could walk into that and kill yourself quite easily. One thing I have noticed since the latest survival update in Space Interviews is some of the sound effects don't necessarily. coincide with actually what's happening on the screen. Right, I need steel plates. And I can 
need some interior plates as well to start building the conveyor system. Yes, they're going to pass well with, away from us, so it should be fine. Right. I don't need to go up there, do I? There's an access point over here. Better shut the uh, engines down on the dwarf to save a bit of power, as it is battery driven. What is that thrust just it on? Why not still play a game, have I? I'm going to have to figure some way of getting the cargo system up and running, I think. Anyway, let's go and get some steel plate. What do you need to get completed? You need everything. Large steel tubes, semiconductors, reactor components. Right, 
let's go back to the ship. We need to produce some, get some way of blah blah. I need to get some way of getting production online in the base itself. Well, what's been shot at now? Looks like we had a visitor. Idea what we're shooting at. We're obviously shooting at something. Hmm. I think the guns are just having fun. It was large steel tube. Reactor components. I guess some small steel tube in production as well for the conveyors. Superconductors. I knew I forgot something. I need some more superconductor conduits for production. And whilst I'm here, I'm going to top up all my bits and pieces that. Well, I need some more superconductors. Silicon is there. Well, so we're going to have to start thinking about resources soon as well. All right, let's top up on my suit. to eat whilst down here. So let's go and do something to eat. Right, I think three refineries should be enough. short of. Is there anything I need to produce to computers? Computers. Energy low. Well again. Oh well, I need to put some computers in production, so let's get back to the ship and do that again. It's been very quiet as far as the PVE is concerned. And the Reavers. They haven't put an appearance in a long time, so I don't know what's going on there. 
Is that anything to do with the fact that I'm on a planet? What is going on? It's been a bit of a funny episode. All I've done seem to have done is build and drill. Nothing's really turned up to give us any sort of alarm or anything like that. There is a unknown signal. It's only 1 minute 58 though. I don't know bother getting that one. So I hope you enjoyed. I will continue with the base construction. But it's been very quiet. I do want to go and have a look at that planet soon as well but we got lots to do here in the next few episodes so i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching i will see you in the next episode until then take care it's time for a bit of chill out i think see you all soon bye bye <music>